What's happening, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we've got an interesting one. I swung by the store, picked up a few things. I ended up going to four or five different Targets today, two Walmarts, a Big Lots, a Best Buy, no sports cards. There's a few Pokemon or some other cards that I'm not familiar with. Absolutely no sports card. Going there on the weekend, not a good thing. So I'm going to try maybe going there on a Monday or a Wednesday and see if I can catch a restock. But we have a lot of things ordered and on the way. And the other thing I want to let you guys know, first off, thanks so much for the support, the amount of subscribers that we've gotten over the last couple of days. Uh, you guys are liking the videos, leaving comments. We appreciate all that. We really do. Um, but I want to let you know, we have an eBay store. I don't know if it's really considered a store. We have an eBay profile that we are throwing up cards. So cards that you see me open today might be up there. Cards that we've opened in previous unboxings or rips, they're up there. And all the money that we make off of here on YouTube and on eBay goes straight back into buying more packs, buying more boxes, buying more potentially cases. So uh, thank you so much. Go check that out. The link will be in the description for the eBay and all that. We also might be doing a giveaway or not a giveaway, but we also might doing like I might sign a disc and throw it in to a random eBay order. So be on the lookout for that announcement as well. But today, what are we doing today? Well, I got these 30 card value packs from uh, Prestige 2023. I've opened a couple of these already on the channel. So uh, I wanted to check these out. And then we also have these UFC trading cards. And if you watched my short, I pulled a Bo Nickel Rising Stun Suns uh, numbered out of 49 from, uh, I, I picked up like two packs um, and got that out of there. So interested to try the blaster. And then also we've got the 2022 Prism. 2023 is already out. We have an order of, I think, 12 blasters that will be coming the next few days. So we'll make that review as well. But I wanted to kind of open some uh, prism just to get a little bit excited for the upcoming. But we're going to open these up first, and then we'll save the two blasters for the end. Now, what we're looking for these, you can get exclusive sunburst parallels in these. Um, other than that... You, you know, if you can pull a rookie, uh, a, an auto, if you can pull a numbered card in these, that would be great, but it is highly, highly unexpected to do so. So we're just going to check these out. This is more, I feel like these packs are kind of more like, um, the scratch off, right? Where you're just, you're, you're just rolling your luck. You kind of know what you're going to get before, but you might hit something massive. So we're going to see if we hit anything crazy today in these value packs. And I'm working on my lighting too. I had someone in the comments say that my the lighting uh, needs to be a little bit better. Are any of these base worth something? I, I've seen a couple people like pull out the Brock Purdy's. Um, any other players really base cards worth anything? It's an interesting question. Like is this guy, Aaron Rodgers, is that guy's base worth anything? Maybe if he was playing this year. I guess when players also move from team to team, they're in a different jersey. Um, I could see that. All right, we're starting with our rookies. We got our Gator boy, Dexter Sr. Very nice here. Go Gators. Trey Tucker um, from the Raiders. We got our DJ Johnson from the Ducks. The offensive lineman. Backwards card, Dan Hampton. Okay, so this is the uh, Sunburst Parallel. Looks really, really cool. I believe we're probably going to get like four rookies, I think, in these things. And then two Sunbursts. Both of these were not rookies, unfortunately. I think you kind of want to try to get a Sunburst from a rookie. Um, and then I think you're just with some inserts at the end. So you got the Alma Mater. You got the Prestigious Pro. Now, we did get a Mike. I did pull a Micah Parsons number prestigious pro um, out of $399 in one of these. Not a value pack, but in, in a box. Um, and then Joe Mixon, powerhouse. These are really cool looking cards, especially the way that the colors match the team. I really like that a lot, but I think it is just an insert. And again, these type of videos, 
you're just swinging for the fences, right? You're not, you're not expecting much of anything, but I think if you hit something in these, it makes it feel so much cooler than if you do, uh, you know, if you hit something in a hobby box or something. Oh, it looks like we have a heroes in the back. Now that card is a card that is, uh, is cool. I love that insert. That's probably my favorite insert um, from Prestige here. I'm starting to get a little bit better, getting a little more used to um, a little more used to open these opening these cards. All right, let's see what we got. We got Reed. Okay, that's a good rook. McDonald. Another Dexter Senior. Another Trey Tucker. Wow, it's like almost the same exact pack. Okay, and our parallels, again, not a rookie. And then Fred Warner is not going to be a rookie either. So it looks like these packs are pretty much duds. We got time stamped. More. And then we have a prestigious pro from Jalen Waddle. An alma mater, and then really we just need a big name on this for this to be somewhat valuable. Oh, Justin Herbert. Okay. I mean, that's cool. He's not having a great season by any means, but still, this is probably the best card uh, from those packs. Other than that, not great. Now, I think the retail on those packs when they first came out, I was watching some videos saying that people were getting them for $6.00. The store that I got them at were ten, so that might be uh, that might be a one and done. I might never buy that again. That seems like not that great of a value for what you get. You know, I just bought what well, was twenty dollars worth of packs and really didn't get much of anything. You're probably better off getting a blaster or um, the mega box is probably the best bet. Okay, what are we looking for here? We got six packs per box, only four cards per pack. So the last card is the one that is going to be the hit or potentially the hit. Um, you can looking for exclusive green prisms and then also one blaster exclusive light blue prism. Um, memorabilia cards as well. One silver prism per box on average. And there are, I think, uh, are there autos in here? I think there are, yeah. Rookie autograph silver. You got fireworks. The card that would be really sick to pull would be the red checker. That would be really sweet to pull one of those. But I'm really excited to get some of the 2023 product and uh, open that up with Sage. He will be back from his trip. So if you guys have missed Sage in these videos, he will be back. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can roll the dice again and see if we can get anything of value here. And again, thanks so much for uh, watching, guys. We appreciate it. Make sure if you are enjoying the content that you let us know in the comments or also by liking. All right. So these are pretty similar to the prism that I have opened already from this year. And this is the Rashid Penny. And then we have our silver rookie, Evan Neal. Okay. Where do they have the prism? Do they not put that on... Hmm. All right. Not too bad. I mean, you probably don't want to waste your silver, silver prism on a, or your silver parallel on a, um, an offensive lineman rookie, but dude, these packs are, oh, fireworks. Okay. Well, that was a spoiler. I have not gotten one of those cards yet. So that will be cool to see. Chris Alave rookie. All right. This is cool. If you guys have watched, I'm a big Ohio State fan, huge Ohio State fan. So getting Chris Olave's rookie card actually is really nice. And then we've got a Tyreek Hill fireworks card. Wow, look at the fireworks on that. That is sick. I don't think this is like a crazy rare card to get, but that I'll take it though. Tyreek Hill's having an insane season. Um Watching watching him play is nuts. It just it doesn't seem like you can actually stop him at all. It's just you just kind of have to uh, let him get what the yards he's gonna get and, and deal with it. Um, is this the guy that's dating that Alex Earl guy? 
Is he on Miami now, number zero? I think it is. Oh, man. Uh, Garrett Wilson. Oh, rookie card Garrett Wilson, another Ohio State. All right. I mean, this might not be the craziest uh, pack of, of all time, but I got two rookie cards that I would never have gotten if I didn't buy this. So that that is cool. And again, I'm late to the game, right? I've never opened, you know, past this last like week or so, I've, I've never opened sports cards. I've, I've The only cards I've ever opened trading cards have been Pokemon cards. And so getting the ability to open some of these cards for the first time is really cool. What is that? A blue what is okay evan mcpherson uh florida kicker very good i was supposed to do a video with him i never did i kind of regret that a little bit that would have been fun to do one with him all right and we get a jesse bates the third on the blue uh, oh the prism's here i'm an idiot that's where it is it's on the bottom so this is actually not even a prism card this is just a rookie card this is a prism, 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 and then this isn't a prism either. It's just a rookie card as well. Okay, that is, uh, I thought my silver was that card, but in fact, that was just a rookie card. I got to get pretty, I got to get better at knowing where the prisms are on them so I can double check myself. And then also the number cards. I just went back through my stack because uh, we're, you know, trying to figure out what, what cards we want to keep for our collection and then what cards we want to put up on eBay. And um, I missed some like numbered cards and some prism cards that we were just going to donate to the children's hospital. So that's uh, for those. Oh, Deshaun Watson. That would have been sick if it was a rookie. And then Roger McKeary. It's also really interesting opening some of these older packs because you don't know who's actually still in the lead or not. Now, 2022, most of these guys, I'm sure, are still in the league. But if you go further back, some of those guys just be like, they might not, you know, the rookies, they might not have cut it. But yeah. That is the plan for us. All right, last pack. We're going to basically keep some cards that we really want to have in our collection or cards that, you know, Sage wants to kind of monitor and see how they do. And then we'll have the other cards go up on eBay for you guys to purchase. And then everything else, we're just going to donate to a children's hospital. And uh, hopefully that can kind of be the... Oh, we got a green. Um, hopefully that can kind of be the... Uh, Oh, gosh, 900 points. Okay, that's a lot of freaking points. Dang, that kind of sucked. And we got another another Evan Neal. So that could have been that could have been something huge, right? 900 points. I don't think I've ever seen 900 points before. Um, dang. All right, well, so nothing too crazy, but, you know, 900 points. I don't know if that could have been an auto instead or whatnot, but... Um, I don't think any of these base cards are, are worth keeping. I think these are all, I think all those are going to the children's hospital. All right, final pack. This is actually the one that I want to open. Uh, we have a hobby box of this, which I think I paid like $180, I want to say, was uh, the cost of it. Um, so that's coming soon. So I can't wait to open that. I was a little bit late to the first off the line. I was trying to pick up the Immaculate, I think, first off the line. Um, or maybe it was this product, Optic. I'm not sure. But we got six packs, five cards per pack. We're looking for six inserts um, or parallels. You've got autographs and signature series on here. Purple velocities as well. Number to 59. Those are the big things um, that we're really looking for. Uh, signature series. I also really like the rising... Um, was it Rising Suns, I think, um, insert they have in here. So, all right, let's see what we can get from this. I've been, I've been pretty good hitting out of these packs just individually where I just randomly will go and pick up some packs. Um, so I've been pretty solid with that, but we'll see if anything comes of it, uh, of this blaster here. All right. And I also watched some videos of people saying that because Optic is losing licensing to Fanatics with the UFC, they have tons of sticker autos that they're just trying to basically get rid of. So um, we'll see if uh, we'll see if any of those are in here. Andre Petrosky, all right, and then a My House he uh, Heavyweight Garrett. 
I'm I'm very curious with these cards. I've noticed that they're all very bent. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't know why they're all extremely bent. But every time I've opened open optic UFC, they've been so bent. All right, Misha Tate, Robert Whitaker, Carla Sparza, Rockich, and ooh, here's a Rising Suns. Almeida, is this numbered? It is. Wow, look at that. We got another one out of 59. I'm crazy at hitting these uh, these rising suns. What the heck? How the heck am I to continue to hit this? All right, that's very sweet. Very nice. That's insane. I don't, I've watched a couple people opening these blasters and not hitting numbered cards is not like a guarantee. And I've done it now twice to two times. All right. What do you guys think of this? Like having an, a, a referee basically be, uh, be a card. That's so, I mean, I guess, you know, in the UFC, the referees have a little bit more of a personality. You know them a little bit more. There's obviously some of the referees in the NBA and the NFL that you kind of have that, I, that same, um, uh, that same famous knowledge, I guess, of them. But you can also get Bruce Buffer and stuff in here. You can get some of the commentators. The UFC is very interesting. All right. Ooh, a purple. Ooh. Lee. This is a sweet card. Okay, purple. Not numbered. Oh, it is numbered. Wow, out of 59. Two numbered cards in this pack. What the heck? This is the purple of a lot. Is this the... Purple Velocity out of 59? It is. Purple Velocity out of 59. With Li Jing, uh, Jing Lang. Liang. Guy's kind of a monster. Guy hits freaking hard. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, just looking between these two blasters. I mean, obviously, the the 30-card value packs had no shot. Looks like we have a Rising Suns in the back. Um, yeah. Uh but these two blasters, I mean, it's a no-brainer right now. This is absolute optic. UFC is killing Prism right now. All right, Rob Font, Brian Ortega. Who do I want from this? All right, Miranda Marav Maverick. She was kind of an up-and-coming, but a little bit not numbered or anything, but still a cool card. I just like that design. I don't know. Some people might hate it. All right, we got two numbered cards in this pack. One purple velocity. I feel like that's pretty solid. I know most of you guys maybe if I don't let me know if you like me opening up UFC. I love UFC. I watch pretty much every pay-per-view and most of the fight nights as well. Um, so I absolutely love it. So opening UFC for me is really cool. But let me know what your thoughts are if you guys like that. Um, obviously, Sage is baseball. You're probably never gonna see me open baseball by myself, but uh I can definitely um Open some NFL, maybe some NBA. I don't really know. All right, our last card. It looks like, oh, this is the silver. Okay, Talia Santos. All right, so nothing too crazy there, but getting two numbered cards out of that pack uh, is very, very cool. And, and the purple velocity as well. Very, very cool. Very interested to kind of see what those cards are. And then uh, looking at the prism, we really didn't get anything that, I mean, these are probably my three favorite cards just because I got my two Ohio State boys, my two my two uh, rookie Ohio State boys. And then uh, the fireworks card with Tyreek Hill is probably the best one out of that. And then the value packs were just an absolute fail, but you know, Justin Herbert Heroes this is my favorite insert out of that. So I'll, I'll, I I like that. But all in all, let me know if you guys want me to do more of these blaster packs. I'm going to try my best to try to find more retail stuff. But my gosh, right now in Vegas, it is nearly impossible to find anything. Um, there's a couple stores that I had success going to earlier in the week. But Saturday, absolutely the worst day. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys are like, liking the video, subscribing as well. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.